billionaire Microsoft founder Bill Gates believes there is a solution to Alzheimer's disease, and he is personally donating $100 million to help find that cure. I mean, there has to be, right? Half of the money will go to the privately funded Dementia Discovery Fund. The other half will go to startup firms that will be focusing on Alzheimer's research. Gates says several men in his family have the disease, it affects him personally, and he is taking action, as in a way that I think is quite admirable. Well, I think it's so important, and I think so many people out there listening are touched by Alzheimer's, having a family member or loved one, and dementia. He's also putting money there, and I think that this is so critical because amazing research is being done, you know, across the country, and especially here in Minnesota. I hope this helps. Alzheimer's, the most common form of dementia, sixth leading cause of death in the United States, more than five million Americans live with the disease. And the cost in health care, there's a financial cost, there's an emotional cost as well, Kim. I mean, $259 billion a year they put on this, but when you are going through this with your, mm -hmm. well, you know. Right? Yeah, I, yeah, my grandmother, in fact, uh, has dementia, likely Alzheimer's, and uh, she, when I go to visit her, she doesn't know who I am. And she doesn't know who my mom is, her own daughter. And, you know, so I think Bill Gates, he referenced that he's got family members who are going through this too, and you know that it impacts the whole family. It's not just one person mm -hmm. um, that is reeling from this. And to think that, you know, there's really no way to treat it, let alone slow the progress of Alzheimer's, and there's been, what, 400 drug trials in the last 15 years, and we haven't even reached a stage where we can really treat it yet. So I really hope that this helps. Well, and a lot of times, too, yes. even when they're you know trying to treat dementia, it's too late at that point. The brain has already been impacted. He kind of described it as giving Lipitor to someone who's already had a heart attack. So I love the idea of Jason just trying to get more information. He's done this before with other, other diseases. That's right. And this is the first one that's been a non-communicable disease. Mm -hmm. He's mostly been focused on things like HIV, malaria, polio. But the idea of saying, okay, there's work being done in the Alzheimer's area. There's plenty of work. We know about some great work happening in Minnesota, but not enough. Yeah. Boy, you think about that kind of money, Esme. Yeah. It, it is amazing. And I hope, you know, going back to Kim's point about the cost to the families. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm also dealing with this. Um, my husband is the primary caregiver for his mom who has mm -hmm. dementia. It's devastating. Yeah. And it's devastating to the family. And I certainly hope yeah. that this can bring some help and maybe some peace to family members as well. Yeah. And, and the hope is so important. Yeah, and it, I mean, with Bill Gates, you know, making this donation, we still have that hope. A lot Absolutely. of it, yeah. a lot of it. A lot of, it. A lot of money. hope even. And off we go, hopefully yep. solutions yeah. mm -hmm. uh, in the near future.